Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Real Builds and the GeoMetro project, or our, uh, I guess we should call it the off the shelf project, seeing as uh, ever had all the parts in place so I might as well make use of them and wind up with a decent daily driver. Now we're doing this on a huge, huge budget, um, real, real tight, uh, trying not to spend any money. So uh, as you saw, we dropped the engine out, we got it apart, and uh, I promised I wouldn't subject you to all the uh, cleaning, cussing, swearing, wire brushing. But I wanted to show you where we're at on the project right now. So we've uh, been through, the uh, transmission's been cleaned, struts, we've also repaired uh, the problem I was having with the spring coming out of the pocket. We uh, reformed the bottom edge of the strut. Uh, cup where the spring goes so it can't move around anymore. The battery tray, brake rotors, inspection panel, alternator cover, axles, uh, all been cleaned, touched up, painted, ready to go back on, air cleaner, distributor, everything's pretty much done to go back in the hole. Now this is a real low buck project but that doesn't mean it has to look like it. So all the paint was on the shelf, all my cleaners and stuff were here, I didn't have to spend anything, um, but it just takes time. So since uh, the last video, that's what I've been doing, cleaning, making sure everything's good, painting, so as it goes back together, it'll be quick and easy, and when it's all done, it'll look good. And it's the same kind of thing we've done here with the engine bay. If you're going to do a project, doesn't matter whether it's a big dollar project or a low dollar project, you might as well make it look good. And you'll notice the rad port's been repainted, cleaned, sorted out, repainted. The same with the rest of the engine bay. So that when it goes back in, it shows the craftsmanship you've put in on your project. And it doesn't cost much. Some paint, some time, some cleaning. And it's much the same when we start looking at the other parts of the car that I've been working on, getting them sorted out. You need to check the suspension out anyway. Well, there you go. Cleaned, painted, checked. I know it's good. The bearings are good. The tie rods are good. Everything's the way it needs to be. So when the project's all done, I've got a nice little driver and I haven't spent much money. So let's talk about money for a minute. How much is into it so far? Well, the car I already had, it had been sitting for five years with the other engine that was damaged, so it didn't cost me anything. The, uh, uh, I went through the engine, uh, checked it out, except for the cylinder head, checked the ring gaps, checked the clearances on the uh, rods and the mains, replaced a few seals, I had to buy some gaskets, that was right around $45. Um, and then most of the paint is off the shelf, I already had it here. So, not a big deal. As you saw, I had the Evaporust here in the previous video, so we tried it out. Man, that stuff worked really good. I'm impressed. Um, so, so far, we're into this whole project for an awful lot of time. Some gaskets, uh, $45 worth, uh, a couple of cans of paint, uh, another uh, jug of solvent, and a couple of incidentals, we're well under $100, and this is what we've done with the dollars we've spent. So, next step, I have to clean up the brake calipers, and I want to uh, clean up the brake pads, let everything dry for a day, then we start putting it back together. So, we'll talk to you really soon, in the next day or two, uh, as we, uh, when we come back and start assembling the uh, power package and getting everything back into place uh, and we'll see how she all comes together hopefully the cylinder heads good I didn't tear it apart and I couldn't afford to send it out but it had been running good so I'm hoping there's not a problem if there is one that's more than likely where I'm gonna see it but that and other problems from sitting may come up we'll deal with them one at a time in the meantime enjoy have a great weekend and we'll be talking to you more next week Okay, we're going to do a little add-on to uh, the earlier piece because I wanted to show you we got the last, I think, of the pieces done. So when you look closely, virtually everything has been touched, checked, repaired, upgraded, whatever is needed to be done. 
the engine's ready to start assembly. And then the suspension itself, including the caliper. The brake pads have been pulled, checked, the system has been checked, the caliper has been painted. The suspension's been gone over. The engine bay received a second coat just to make it look good. And I think it does. And on this side, same thing. So the brake pads have been squared and sanded, the rotors are ready to go on, everything's pretty much there. Now the only delay we could run into is the paint itself. We just finished fixing brackets and painting the radiator fan. Um, we had to stitch this cover back together with wire, glue it and repaint it. The radiator had a couple of repairs we had to do. It's amazing how things deteriorate from sitting and uh, pretty much everything else has been touched. So we're about ready to start assembly. Now the problem is up here in uh, northwestern Canada uh, it's minus 12 tonight and uh, it's unaffordable to keep the shop heated 24 hours a day. So I just shut the furnace off and I'll take a look in the morning. We can't start assembly until all the paint is dry and hard. So that may take an extra day or so, but Monday or Tuesday, I'm hoping we'll see progress on uh, shoveling everything back together. The first step will be dressing the engine, then adding the transmission, getting everything hooked up. When I say dressing the engine, I mean intake, exhaust, alternator, starter, transmission, um, all of the pieces that, is, that are required to get on. And we'll touch up paint and clean the nuts and bolts as we go. So we're probably halfway through this driveline engine and systems build and we've also managed to knock off uh, the front suspension and brake system. We know it's good. Uh, at least everything appears to be. And uh, once this is installed and running, we'll get the back end up in the air and check things there. I think this should be in good shape. Drum brakes survive better than discs. And, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Till then, do note, anytime I'm working on a car, I have the manual handy and I use it a lot. Doesn't matter how many Geos, Sprints, Suzuki's I've built, I keep the book handy because nobody's perfect. And once the uh, rear brakes are checked, that's the first two off our list. And we move into body structure. And I'm hoping that won't take too long. We have the important areas identified. And I want to get this car on the road as soon as we can. Total bill right now is still around the same mark as before, you know, around 75 bucks. Uh, not bad for a little car. And yes, I know, uh, you know, I already had the car so it didn't cost me anything. If you were going to go out and do it, you'd have to find one. You'd be surprised at the number of cars, not just Geos, but of this style, that you can find with a blown engine. Now, I also had the engine, which is helpful, and I had all the bits and pieces on the shelf to do it. So this is an ultra low buck project. But you can do the same thing and keep it ultra low buck, just not quite as low as I'm getting away with. Um, but, you know, again, look at the work that's gone into cleaning, painting, touching up. It's called craftsmanship. You take the time to make it look good. And by doing that, it makes you feel better, it makes the car look great, and it lets people know you're serious about what you're doing. So, uh, until we start assembly, take care, and we'll see you soon.